I presented at the Scottsdale Phoenix Traders and Investors Meetup this week and was asked a particularly good question we ought to discuss. Trader Sean, 80, and frustrated taking thousands of dollars of trading education without profitability, asked, how does a trader know what trading style is best for him? I had shared an anecdote of one of our top traders, a black shirt trader, who found a niche and grew bigger and bigger from this one particular niche. One niche turned him into a black shirt trader. And this is the context for Sean's question. So let me offer some ideas. First, I've been mentoring a seven-figure trader outside of our firm who trades best when he's having fun and is energized. I noticed a connection between this trader trading at his best and feeling energy during a trading session. That connection was staring right there in his daily report card. I mentioned and mentored that this was significant inter information for his trading. The setups that were fostering energy and fun deserved more attention and size and risk. They were communicating a talent for specific setups. Further, Dr. Steenbarger taught firm traders this week during a firm presentation to think of how you've been successful in the past. Find trading that taps into this talent that has brought prior success. If you're a fast thinker, scalp. If you're a solid analytical thinker, find edge in news catalysts, for example. Also, exposure is necessary to find the setups best for you. The reality is you have to try a bunch of different setups and experience whether they might work for you. Learning setups with edge and then trading them live and then measuring your results in specific setups is the exposure necessary when you're developing. Moreover, a younger and ambitious trader approached me at this very event and he said, it seems like most of the answers are I got to gain experience. And there is some truth to that. Improving on the setups that you learn with edge, getting better, getting screen time, that is an important step in becoming a consistently profitable trader. Yes, you do need experience and that is the answer a lot of times for improvement. Finally, one trader at the event hoped to be making real money in year one as a trader. We see traders making significant P&L in year three of their trading careers. They make some in year one perhaps, more in year two for sure, but it's not until year three where they're making significant money for a firm and themselves. And this is for traders who have all the resources of a firm, the capital, the technology, the coaching and mentoring, and the experienced traders around them. It takes time. Hope that helps. We'll talk to you soon, Tradewell.